The unassuming exterior of this Asus Zenbook belies the power within. It's pretty light and it has a decent battery. It's ultra portable. And what if I told you that you could also use it as a gaming laptop? You might think me daft, foolhardy to make such claims, but I say nay. Hark, lend me your ears, for I speak the truth. And I'll tell you all about this portable powerhouse right now. Greetings, I am Andrew from Apt, and in front of me is the Asus ZenBook Pro 14 OLED. Verily, I say, it is a monster of almost poetic proportions, and I beseech thee, take heed of its petitely packaged prowess. It's powerful and portable is what I'm saying. With any laptop, you're trying to balance the big three Ps, price, performance, and portability. You generally want your selection to be strong in two of those categories. And my goodness, this machine checks off the latter two boxes in a bold italicized highlighter. The model you're looking at here is 1800. It's what we have on display at the app store, and I'll be discussing its particular specs, but you can find it with some variability in hard drive and RAM and such. But the main combo of highly capable specs in a compact body exists in all models, as does the most unique calling card of the laptop, this little dial pad thing. Let's talk through the details so you know if this is a good fit for you. Let's start with that portability aspect. You're looking at a 14.5 inch touchscreen laptop and it weighs in at roughly 3.5 pounds and it has a battery that'll last 10-ish hours depending on your usage, obviously. In other words, it's not a feather weight, but it shouldn't actually be a problem to lug this around all day and the build is sturdy. Tested for military grade toughness, which my cameraman Prince scoffed at, given the thin sleekness of the thing, but that's what they say. Taken as a whole, Asus seems to be gunning for the MacBook here in the way it's combining snappy, high-end productivity with a slim, portable body. So, does it measure up on the inside? Let's crack this thing open. First of all, this 14.5 inch touchscreen is glorious. It's OLED, so expect bright colors, good contrast, deep blacks. It has a roomy 16 by 10 aspect ratio. It has a 120 hertz refresh rate. Again, on durability, you're looking at Corning Gorilla Glass here, and you can customize the color gamut using the built-in MyAces software to match your activity. It's Pantone validated for color rendering, Dolby Vision certified, VESA certified, HDR for true black, it just did not skimp on this screen, and it's a touch screen. But it's kind of overkill on a laptop this thin, since it certainly won't have the power for games or video editing, right? Right? Wrong! Surprise! Maybe not much of a surprise, since I mentioned this in the intro, but surprise! This has a really powerful base processor, a 13th generation Intel i9 with 14 cores and 20 threads, and it has a dedicated graphics card in here. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4060, which has a studio-ready 8 gigabytes of dedicated GDDR6 VRAM. Boom! So yeah, it's a powerhouse, and it has other specs to back it up. 16 gigs of DDR5 regular RAM. It has a roomy one terabyte SSD hard drive, Windows 11, Wi-Fi 6E, Bluetooth 5, it's got powerful fans to keep it cool when you're rocking and rolling. The fans are called Ice Cool Pro, which, yeah, that sounds like one of those styrofoam coolers you'd buy at a convenience store, but no, no, high-tech fans with four external exhaust vents and a dust filter. This is a backlit chiclet keyboard with nice depth on the press and a mechanical clicker on the touchpad, and oh yeah, this weird little dial thing. It's called the Asus Dial Pad. It allows fingertip navigation for a variety of scrolling and app-specific tasks, and you can customize what you want it to do and make it different for different productivity apps. 
And if you don't find it convenient, you can just turn it off by swiping here at the top of the touchpad. It's a cool, extra scrolly thingy maduber. It's a technical term, but it doesn't move the needle a lot for me, but that's fine. It's unobtrusive and it's there if you would find it useful in your workflow. So, speaking of that workflow, what can you do with this thing? All of the things! You have a ton of memory, a good processor, and lots of storage for snappy productivity tasks. Uh, keeping lots of tabs open, storing photos, the great screen, a graphics card will let you do photo and video editing, and yeah, you can game here. Now, you're not going to quite have the high-end power of a dedicated gaming PC, like a desktop, but casual games, even like more than that, absolutely, just not like the high, high end. And if you're working from home, this has a full HD webcam with IR, a three mic array with AI enabled noise canceling. You're going to be impressive on that Zoom call with your fancy business top and your casual shorts just out of frame. It's also got speakers from Harman Kardon, so you'll really hear the melodic notes in your boss's monologue during that meeting, or, you know, the melodic notes in your relaxation music after you mute the boss for the sake of your sanity. I won't tell if you don't. As for ports, one USB-A, one USB-C, one Thunderbolt 4, one HDMI, there's an audio jack, a DC in, and an SD 4.0 card reader this is a beast, but a friendly and well-read beast like Hank McCoy. This is not a cheap laptop, but it's got power and portability like a MacBook, and none of those are cheap. And this has a graphics card and Windows, so way, way more gains than a MacBook. MacBooks might be a little lighter and have a little more battery life, but this one is definitely slick enough given all of the fancy paraphernalia under the surface. So if you're in the market for a high-end productivity workbook with video chops, you should check this one out. And good news, we have it on display right here at Apt. So come on down and take a look. Or check it out online. Call us over the phone and talk to an expert. You've got options. We've got laptops. If you would, if you're watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and happy computing.